welcome back to the channel guys and thank you for supporting me like subscribe dislike share the video guys the more you interact the more i get pushed out the more we can get the truth out because we know closer we get to election election more youtube and google are going to censor any truth going on out here and you see the title god you see that headline guys Election officials warned that widespread problems with the U.S. mail system could disrupt voting. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. They are basically telling us what's about to go down, the shit show that's going to be this election of 2024. If, if, if we thought 2020 was a, a crazy ride, boy, hold on to your socks. Hold on to your butthole, because, boy, this this next 50, what, 53 days in the wake up, it's about to be some of the craziest times in our life, guys. And I know the day is September 11th, but guys. We remember that day very, very. We always will remember that day of September 11th, where we was at, what we was doing at the same time. At the time, it was happening. We thought America was under attack. Now, looking back, we know our government hates us. And that's all I'm going to say on that point. But I'm always going to pray for the family members and the loved ones that got lost loved ones that day because of our so-called people that's supposed to protect us. That's all I'm going to say. Like that. So let's read this headline from the AP News. State and local election officials from across the country on Wednesday warned that the problem with the nation mailing delivery system threatened to disenfranchise voters in the upcoming presidential election, telling the heads of the U.S. Postal Service that it haven't fixed procuring disabilities. So they haven't fixed a lot of disabilities and problems they had before, probably from the 2024 dropping in ballots and stuff, mail-in mail -in ballots and stuff. I don't know why we still have mail-in ballots, unless you are American citizen, overseas, military, something like that. Other than that, we should have National Election Day, November 5th, should be a national holiday, and everybody, you go one day, you go to the polls, paper ballots, and that's it. Some states are automatically pushing out, mailing out ballots, and all this, and this, dropping ballots, even if you're not acting for it, this is how you get the cheap and get the bullshit. And now, they're basically saying, oh, we're going to have some problems in this shit. It should piss everybody off. The fix is in, guys, one way or another. In the alarming letter, the official said that over the past year, including just concluded primary season, mail ballots that were postmarked on time were received by local election of office days after the deadline to be counted. Oh, boy. Days after the deadline, even though they were postmarked beforehand. Boy, this is going to be up. Mm -mm -mm. They also noted that property address election mail was being returned to them as undeliverable, a problem that could automatically send voters to an inactive status through no fault of their own, potentially creating chaos when those voters show up to cast a ballot. Oh, mm -mm -mm. boy, we are in for one shit show. The officials also said that repeat outreach to the Postal Service to resolve this issue had failed and that the widespread nature of the problem made it clear there was not one off mistakes or a problem that specifically facilitates, including it determined a persistent lack of understanding and enforcement of the USPS policies among its employees. And we know these employees can be right wing, left wing. Oh man, this is going to be a very mostly. As we know, most red states, that's not too heavy on this, but it's going to be a shit show everywhere, though. It's going to be a problem, big time, man. The letter to the U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy came from two groups that represent top election administration in all 50 states. They told DeJoy, we have not seen improvements or concrete efforts to remedy our concerns. Of course not. And they're not going to fix the problem either because postal workers... Federal employees, they don't give two shits on the system work at all. We employ you to take immediate and general corrective action to address the ongoing performance issues with the USPS election mail system, they added. 
Failure to do so will risk limiting voters' participation and trust in the election process. See, if you do not already trust the election process, go down to your polls and vote in person. Vote in person. I would advise if you are not if you're not worried about the mail process, the mail of you worrying about oh if I send it through my mail in back if I mail my ballot, would it receive it? Would it talk to the side? Would it get it in time? Take your ass down to the polls. Even if you get it in the mail, turn it into the poll or in person yourself. Do not trust the system. That we already know the system is already effed up. If you do get a ballot ballot in the mail, if you do not trust the mailing process, you think somebody can throw it away or whatever, or it's not going to get there in time, turn it, it in person yourself. I'm giving you warning now. The Postal Service on Wednesday, we did okay. Detroit assured that it was well positioned to scriptly deliver election mail despite being in the midst of a network modification that have caused some delivery hiccups. Mail in current currently being dis, being delivered in 2.7 days on average, officials said. But the Postal Service is still urging voters not to procrastinate. Yes, don't wait around with your ballot. Don't wait till the last minute to turn it in, mail it in, whatever. Once you get your ballot, if you do, if you can't make it to somewhere to turn it in in person, get it, fill it out correctly, sign it correctly, and mail it in as soon as possible. Don't delay. Don't wait. Don't wait till the last week up, two weeks up, and hope that they get it. Please, I would buy you to do it everything in person if possible. But if you have to mail it in, you can't make it out to turn it in in person. Get it in the mail as soon as possible. All I'm going to say is because we know the gig is going to be up, everything like that. Like I said, they're warning us already. They're giving us the warning. They'll let you know. And like I said, how many people are going to see this article? How many people are going to see this headline and be like, oh, wow. Yeah, it might be right. US the USPS Postal Service is kind of can be slow and messed up. So it might be my best interest if I do have to get a mail in ballot, see if I could turn it in person myself to be sure that my ballot got received properly in their own time. So guys, I'm giving this warning out, guys. Let me know in the comment section. Share these video, guys. I know many, many people. Do not know about this. Don't have an idea what we going on. No means out there. Pass this. Share it to your family and friends. Let them know if they receive a ballot in the mail. Let them know. If you cannot make it in person to drop that ballot off in person, get it in the mail ASAP. And make sure you keep a track of where if that ballot got received or not. You make sure you sign up the email. Make sure you track. Make sure they got it received. Make sure in like a week, like maybe give it a good three to five days, track and make sure that your ballot got received and counted in a timely matter. Please share this video out to your friend, family, friends that do receive in whatever state they are, reduce or have no choice or do uh, all planning getting a mail-in ballot. Please let them know what's going on with the, with the mailing system around the country. Because this is not a joke, guys. But let me know in the comment section, guys. Like I said, this is big news. Like I said, this is from the AP News. I don't know how many people will see this and even notice what's going on and stuff like that. But I know the mail in, in person, a lot of this stuff is starting up in most states, some states, as early as next week. So if you got friends, family, elderly parents or grandparents and stuff that might get a ballot, might have to mail it out, mail it back, mail it back once they fill it out, please give them a heads up of what's going on. Like, comment, share this video, guys. Until the next one, guys, I'm out. Peace.